What is going on? My name is Apu and welcome to another video. In this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to mark up East Asian characters and their pronunciations properly like this. As you can see here, this is one Chinese character and this is the pronunciation of this character. And this is another Chinese character and here's the pronunciation. If this is your first time here and you want to develop your skills in HTML, CSS and JavaScript from the ground up to the expert level, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Here on the left I opened up the HTML document I created for this lecture using Visual Studio Code and on the right I opened up the same HTML document with Google Chrome. Starting from line 17 I have two Chinese characters with their pronunciations on the right. Currently, they look like this. And let's mark them up properly so that each pronunciation will display on top of each character. First, we need to wrap all the Chinese characters with HTML Ruby tag. The opening HTML Ruby tag looks like this. Starting with left angle bracket, Ruby and right angle bracket. And a closing HTML Ruby tag looks like this. Starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, Ruby and right angle bracket. After that, we need to mark up all the pronunciation text with HTML Ruby text tag. So the opening Ruby text tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, RT and right angle bracket. And the closing Ruby text tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, RT and right angle bracket. So opening Ruby text tag here, and the closing Ruby text tag here. Now let's save this and see how they look. Okay, it worked. As you can see, now the pronunciation is displaying on top of the character. But not all the browsers fully support the HTML Ruby tag. In this case, first we need to wrap every Ruby text tag with its content using parentheses like this. And after that, we need to mark up every opening and closing parentheses with the Ruby fallback parentheses tag like this. So the opening Ruby fallback parentheses tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, RP and right angle bracket. And the closing Ruby fallback parentheses tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, RP and right angle bracket. So the opening Ruby fallback parenthesis tag here and closing Ruby fallback parenthesis tag here and opening Ruby fallback parenthesis tag here and closing Ruby fallback parenthesis tag here. And last one, the opening Ruby fallback parenthesis tag here and closing Ruby fallback parenthesis tag here. So now our Chinese characters and their pronunciations will display properly even on the browser which does not support HTML Ruby tag. If you started learning HTML and you want to master when and how to use every different HTML tag, make sure you check out this playlist and it has everything you need to master different HTML tags. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.